How's it going, everybody? So I'm out and about here in this wooded area. And, um, you know, the weather is pretty nice right now. And I thought I would come out here and talk to everybody since it's been a while since I've you know, had one of those deep, deep, in-depth videos. The Word of God, of course. Just wanted to touch on some stuff. Some things that's going on in the world and our mindsets and whatnot. And I thought that coming outside would be a good idea because we're out here in nature and can think clearly. Just trying to get to a suitable spot to sit down and talk with you all. But I wanna, just wanted to bring y'all out here. Let y'all see this beautiful, this beautiful wooded area that I'm in right now. There's some people down there. Dogs and they were just out in the water swimming. That's the Gulf of Mexico that you all are looking at right there. Beautiful, isn't it? Peaceful. That water is so peaceful. Mm. All right, so I kind of found a spot where there really isn't a lot of people. And, um, you know, some people come out here to reflect on life and to think about things. And that's pretty much why I'm out here right now. So, you know, it's quiet and the ocean's beautiful right here in front of me. So um, I come here to clear my mind so I can, can say whatever it is that needs to come out. Uh, but before I even go any further, you know, that I've noticed that I've gained um, a lot of subscribers since I created this channel. Um, about a year or so ago um, when I switched it to an all-Christian, biblically-based channel. Um, so I want to say hello. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. And I pray and hope that you get what you need from this channel. Um, here on Biblical Truth Central, um, it's the Bible primarily. Um, we let the scripture speak for themselves. God doesn't need any help explaining himself. And if it doesn't go along with the Bible, then we dismiss it. And that's just that. No feelings, no thoughts. It's just strictly Bible. And that's it. Uh, with that being said, um, I, I just want to kind of, you know, give some of you out there a, a brief in-depth on who I am um, I have a testimony here on this channel you'll probably have to go back about almost a year to see it um, I don't want to make this video completely about me and my testimony but if you're interested um, in seeing that I'll put a link in the description of this video but in a nutshell I've been following Jesus Christ uh, since about 2012 I've gone to church my entire life uh, but that was just church that was just a thing to do nobody really explained to me salvation nobody explained to me that i needed to be saved nobody explained anything to me but it wasn't until 2012 that i received the wake-up call and yeah the rest is history i've been following the lord jesus christ ever since um, i believe in living a holy and righteous life in his sight i believe that we are to um, do the best that we possibly can to emulate Jesus Christ because as believers we need to understand something that we are ambassadors of Christ which means that you know we we represent the Lord we are here to bring souls to heaven we're here to bring people to Christ at the end of the day uh, so our words our actions everything that we do it, it matters at the end of the day it matters um, don't let anybody convince you that you can just live however you want to live when you come to Jesus that you don't have to bear any fruit when the Bible clearly states that you know trees that don't bear good fruit and this is you know Jesus himself 
saying that that those trees are cast into the fire so you know kind of let that sink in you know um but yeah i did like i said i don't want to make this too much about me if you're interested in learning more about me and my testimony um check the link in the description and um it's a pretty long video it's about an hour or so if you got time you know sit down and learn who brother d truly is so the topic of this video is you know what are we paying attention to where's our mindset what are we thinking about everywhere i go people are talking about what's going on in the world people are talking about the super bowl people are talking about their careers i mean there's just all kinds of different walks of life i'd say that people emulate and that they constantly focus on and there are some christians out here who are doing the same thing there's some believers out here that are entangling themselves with the ways of the world and i for one <laughs> I, I try hard to tell people we need to be focusing on the Lord we need to be focusing on the signs of the times you know this isn't I'm not saying we need to be paranoid and that we can't enjoy our lives and we can't enjoy our families you know that's it's not what I'm saying but what I am saying is that there's just way too many Christians out here who are too relaxed and their eyes are closed eyes and ears and just several different places except for here I don't want to make this video too long because I don't really have a lot of battery life on this camera so let me go ahead and just get to the scripture and hopefully it'll be a blessing to somebody out there in 2nd Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 and it says, no man that wore it entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had been chosen to be a soldier. The Lord has selected us to follow him, to obey him, to spread the gospel to every living creature. Let's always remember that that is priority number one. Preach the gospel. Share it with everybody. Everything else comes second. Jesus comes first. Let us always remember that. Analyze yourself. Examine your actions, your words, and what you do on a daily basis. And see if it goes in sync with the gospel. We are not to be entangled with this world. We are not to worry about the things that go on in this world. But we're supposed to be concerned with souls and spreading the gospel to everybody god bless you all thank you for tuning in see you next time be sure to subscribe peace